Okay, so if you feel okay with it, just uh, just let your eyes close and just gather your attention, bring your attention back into this present moment. What's here where you are? I'm just inviting your attention out of the storyline, out of the past, out of the future, out of what has happened and what is yet to be. And invite your attention back here now. What's here where you are? Just coming back to this ordinary moment of your life, just sitting here, breathing. And the simple instruction of meditation is to do nothing. Just letting all the busyness, the drama of the day fall away. What's it like to be you? Uniquely, irreplaceably you here now. What's it like to be alive? And this is not a question we're going to be answering with our minds, with thoughts, with words. Let's go to our experience with our attention. Let's send our awareness deep into the present moment. As if this present moment was the most fascinating thing in the whole universe. Just feeling your feet in contact with the ground. Just noticing what it feels like to have clothes on your body. Just noticing those sensations where the clothes you're wearing touch your skin. Remember, we're not trying to have a special experience. We're not trying to have a transcendent experience. We're not trying to become enlightened. We're not trying to have any kind of special experience. This is about opening, softening into this present experience we're already having, the now. It's noticing positions of your hands, the shapes of your hands. Letting your shoulders drop a little bit. Letting your jaw soften and drop a little bit. Just letting your body drop a few millimeters into the chair, into the earth. Just paying attention to your breathing for a few moments. Just noticing those rising and falling sensations in the belly and the chest. Where do you feel those rising and falling sensations the strongest? So not trying to control the breath. Just noticing how the body breathes all by itself. You don't need to know how to breathe. being present with those rising and falling sensations like a wave rising and falling in the ocean all by itself spontaneously effortlessly naturally the breath is such a wonderful anchor to the present moment breathing is only now those rising and falling sensations only happen in the present moment, not in the past or the future. The breath is such a wonderful anchor to your true ground, your true home, which is now. And if you find yourself during this meditation becoming distracted, that's perfectly okay. Distraction happens. 
if you find your attention wandering off to the past, to the future, something that happened the other day or a few years ago or may or may not happen tomorrow or in a week's time, you can just notice that your mind has wandered and wandering is perfectly okay. That's also an expression of life. It's not wrong. It's not a failure. Your meditation isn't failing because you became distracted. You can just gently notice, oh, look, my attention went off somewhere else. And you can just gently come back to the breath, this brand new breath, this never before breathed breath. Just notice how every breath is brand new. It's never been breathed before. The newness of life is right here where you are. The same intelligence that is breathing every being on this planet is breathing you now. That same mystery, that same life, that same cosmic intelligence that was there at the Big Bang, that is there in every mountain, every blade of grass, every planet, every flower, same intelligence that is breathing you right now. We're just opening to your experience as it is. Just noticing all the sounds around you. The sounds of the present moment. Every sound is a present sound. Just noticing right now if your mind is noisy or if it's quiet. If your mind is noisy, let it be noisy. If your mind is quiet, let it be quiet. We're not trying to fix the mind or stop the mind or control the mind. Just allowing all these thoughts to come and go, all these voices in the head, images, memories, thoughts about the future. Notice that they all arise now. Their home is the present moment. The past doesn't happen in the past. The past arises in the present as thought, memory. The future doesn't happen in the future. It arises in the present now as imagination, fantasy, dreams. So it's like you are the ocean and all of these waves are coming and going, waves of thought waves of breath, waves of sound. No thought is final. No feeling is final. Coming and going. No wave is final in the ocean. And just noticing your body now. How's your body doing in this moment? Does it feel tight and tense? contracted, heavy? Does it feel spacious, restful, open? So there's no right or wrong answer here. This is just the weather of the moment. Sometimes there's tightness and tension. Other moments there's spaciousness, relaxation. So the invitation is just to Allow your experience to be as it is. If there's boredom in this moment, if there's frustration, if there's anxiety, if there's joy, if there's excitement, if there's peace, can we just let our experience be as it is? This is the question at the heart of true meditation. Can we open to our experience as it is? And if we can't, can we open to that? Can we even allow non-acceptance to be here? Can we allow non-allowing? Can we open even to our resistance, our frustration, our numbness? Remember, no feeling is final. The invitation is to experience all of it. 
the boredom and the bliss, the joy and the sorrow, and know yourself as the space for all of it, the ocean, which is big enough, vast enough, wise enough, wide enough, spacious enough to allow any of it, all of it. If there's boredom here, if there's excitement here, if there's tension here, if there's relaxation here, no feeling is final, no feeling is the enemy, no wave is against the ocean. The invitation is to, to remain present, curious, to soften around it. Just allowing these sensations in the body. If you'd like, you can feel or imagine your breath moving into these sensations, moving into the boredom, moving into the discomfort, moving into the loneliness, moving into that feeling of failure or brokenness, tension, breathing in to that dark cave, breathing in to that unknown place, breathing in to that part of you that you want to get rid of or that you think is an enemy or that you think is something wrong with you. Maybe it's not. This is the invitation of meditation to discover that what you thought was wrong with you was actually just a part of you longing for love, longing for breath, longing for acceptance. Longing to be let in, to be experienced, to be seen as part of the whole. No wave is against the ocean. Every wave is an expression of the ocean. Even our numbness, our boredom, our sorrow, our loneliness. So just letting your experience be as it is, not moving away from it. And it's also okay if you move away from it. Even that's not wrong, you can just notice. Okay, I moved away. Okay, I became distracted, I went off into my head. I started thinking, I dissociated. I went off into the past, I went off into the future. And that's okay. It's also okay to move away from your experience. It's okay to distract yourself from pain, distract yourself from discomfort. And then the invitation is just to notice that. Notice, okay, I moved away, it's okay. And then there's a brand new moment here. There's a brand new beginning. Every moment is a brand new beginning, a new invitation. An invitation to come back, to come closer. To bring awareness back to the body, back to the breath. Feel your feet on the ground. Let your body be heavy. Let it drop into the chair, into the ground. Just to open to your experience as it is. And you can let go now of this meditation. You can stop trying to meditate. You can stop trying to get it right. You can stop trying to relax. Stop trying to awaken or whatever the mind has invented. Whatever it thinks you need to try and do to be okay, to be loved, to be safe. You can just let yourself rest. You can just drop into the chair. Let yourself fall into the chair, into the ground. Let yourself rest, let yourself be held. Give up this exhausting search to try and perfect yourself, improve yourself, try and escape yourself, become something else. 
Just let yourself be held exactly as you are. If you feel tired or energized, broken or whole, restless or restful, excited or bored, joyful or full of grief, it doesn't matter. No feeling is final. And all feelings are divine from this perspective. Just let yourself be held exactly as you are. Even if you feel you can't hold yourself, let yourself be held. By the earth, by the oceans and mountains, the forests, by the vastness of the sky, all the planets, the space itself. Feel free to stay in this place of presence during the call. Or if you feel like it, you can just slowly begin to open your eyes and come back into the room wherever you are. Have a little stretch. <laughs> 